Yes. Okay. So this is a home exercise program that will help you with spinal movements. Um, it can help you manage your pain, uh, help you with your breathing. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna find a comfortable seat on your chair. Make sure your feet are on the floor right underneath your knees and that they're in parallel, not too wide, not too narrow, just a few inches apart, nice and stable. You're sitting up as tall as you can Shoulders are relaxed, hands are resting on your lap. Take a moment to feel your alignment. Notice if your head feels like it's jutted forward or that you are collapsed in the spine. See if you can really find that upright spine, head balanced right on top of the spine. Your sits bones are grounded down into the chair. From here, if you're comfortable with it, for our next few moments, you can close your eyes. Place both your hands on your belly and begin to breathe. Begin to notice your breathing. And as much as possible, see if you can breathe down into the belly so that as you breathe in, the belly moves out. And as you breathe out, the belly moves back in. As you breathe in, it's like your belly fills like a balloon. And as you breathe out, it flattens out again, deflates. It might take a few times for you to figure this out for yourself. Most of the time, a lot of people breathe up into their chest more often than down into their belly. This can help you to deepen your breath can be a really good thing to do when you're feeling a little bit stressed out or anxious. And you're slowing your breath down a little bit. So as you breathe in, it's a little slower than normal. And as you breathe out, it's even slower than the breathe in. You can breathe out through the mouth if that's more comfortable. In through the nose and out through the mouth letting the hands rise and fall as the belly moves in and out. A few more times on your own, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. You're going to bring your hands up onto the sides of your ribs and you sort of squeeze you might be able to feel your rib cage underneath you all those little ribs good try to upright the spine once again and this time as you breathe in you're going to feel your ribs expand out to the sides so it's sort of like your whole rib cage goes whoo, out and back in out and back in sort of like a bunch of rings going bigger and then smaller, bigger and then smaller. So same thing here, you can close your eyes and as you breathe in, try to breathe right into that area that you're touching with your hands. Same thing, you can breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Don't let any tension creep into the shoulders or the neck easy and soft in the shoulders and neck, even as you breathe nice and deep into that rib cage. Finding your own slow and steady rhythm. A few more times like this, feeling the rib cage expand into your hands. here we're going to move into spinal extension and flexion so that's extending upwards and then folding back in and I'm going to actually turn my chair sideways so that you can see the movement of my spine more simply and we're going to connect the breath 
to this movement. So as you breathe in, you'll arch the spine, your lower back comes in, your chest lifts, even your chin lifts. And as you breathe out, you round forward, dropping the chin towards your chest, really rounding the upper back. See how the whole spine rounds backwards like I'm moving into the letter C. As I inhale, I arch the spine, roll my pelvis forward, lift my chest, lift my eyes, and exhale to round. Good. A lot of times people will do this movement kind of like this with their neck not that. Not just the neck moving. So see if you can really move the whole back from the tailbone all the way up to the top of the spine, which is actually in between your ears. Good. A few more times like this. Breathe in to arch. And breathe out to curl. Breathe in to arch. And breathe out to curl. Feel as though your whole spine is moving, and there's not one part of the spine that feels like it's moving more than other parts, especially if that part feels like there's pain right there. So if you feel that way, then just see if you can minimize the movement in that part of your spine and find a little more movement in other parts of their spine so that no one part is stressed by the movement. Good. Okay, from here we'll come into a spinal twist. So I'll stay sideways so that you can see the whole action. So you're gonna take your right hand, slide it down to the back of your chair. If you have armrest, just slide it underneath the armrest. Grab onto the bottom of the chair or the back of the chair, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Good, then bring your left hand to your right knee. As you breathe in, get really tall. So I'm Extending up towards the sky, the top of my head is reaching to the sky, and then as you breathe out, you're going to rotate, twist towards the right, and I'm using my hands for a little bit of push to help me come into this twist. Good, and then release that twist. Come back to center, bring your left hand down. I'll turn away from you now, right hand to left knee. First, you inhale to get tall, and then you exhale and you rotate. Come into the twist. You should feel pretty good on your spine. You might even feel a stretch across the belly. Let your head and neck turn as well, but not too much. Sort of in the regular range of the rest of the spine. Release back to center. And we'll do the first side again. Right hand down, left hand to right knee, inhale, get tall, and exhale to twist. Release back to center. Left hand down, right hand to left knee, inhale, grow tall, and exhale to twist. Good, release back to center. Okay, I'll turn my chair back to face you again. This next one is a side stretch. So scoot forward on your chair, separate your knees. <clears throat> bring your right hand onto your right knee. And as much as possible, bring your left arm up towards the sky. You might be a little bit more here if you have some shoulder issues. Just go where you can without pain. From here, you're gonna once again grow tall and then start to lean towards the right. You can bring your right elbow down onto your right knee and reach that left arm over your ear as much as you can. You should feel a big stretch in the side, side body right there. Good, inhale back up. Left hand onto left knee. First the right arm comes up. You get taller to start so that you're not starting from this position. You're starting from a really extended position. Then you come into that side bend. You're breathing the whole time. Inhale back up. Good. Bring your legs back together, back into that parallel. For this next one, there's going to be a few variations. For some people, you'll bring your ankle all the way to your knee. 
this is not possible, you can cross your legs this way, that might be possible, or you can just cross your ankles. Wherever you are, ankles crossed or ankle to knee, which is what I'll show. Hands on your chair, push down with your hands to lengthen your spine, get really tall, and then begin to tilt forward from your hips, so keeping the spine long. You'll feel a big stretch in your outer hip, your outer right hip. And you're breathing here. Come back to center. Release your right leg down. And switch to the other side, either ankle to knee, legs crossed, or ankles crossed. I'll show it ankles crossed on this side. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest, tilt forward from the hips. Feeling a stretch, hopefully around that left outer hip. Good, inhale back to center, and feet to the ground. Okay, one more posture before our final relaxation. You're gonna separate your feet just about the width of your chair. Scoop forward once again, so you're sitting in about the middle of your chair seat. Hands to your knees, lift your chest up. Good, and begin to lean forward. You might feel if you're gonna fall forward like you need to scoot your bum a little further back, that's fine. Bring your elbows to your knees. You might stay here, this is fine. If you're already feeling a stretch in the backs of your legs and your hips, stay here. Otherwise, you might be able to come even further down, coming all the way down into a forward fold, letting your head hang and shake your head no and shake your head yes. And as you're here, breathe into the back of your body. So it's sort of like you're thinking about the backs of your lungs, the back of your rib cage. And as you breathe in, let that area expand. And as you breathe out, let it soften and relax. Breathing in and expanding. Breathing out and relaxing. Good. And stay here for a few more breaths, just really feeling this nice, easy stretch through the hips, through the legs, through the back. And then bring your hands one at a time to your knees. Good, push your hands in your, into your knees and slowly roll up. Sometimes you get a little dizzy after being upside down, so take your time. Good, so our last thing, you'll just allow yourself to relax into the back of your chair. Let your legs relax a little bit. Rest your hands wherever they feel comfortable, maybe on your body, maybe in your lap. Where do I feel good? On my lap, I think. Close your eyes, drop your chin towards your chest. And just really let yourself completely let go of all effort. You don't need to control your breathing anymore. You don't need to control your posture anymore. Let the chair hold you. And just observe your own breathing the natural rise and fall, the sensations in your body. Giving yourself just a minute to fully relax, not think about anything else except what's happening right now in your body, in your breath. Slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Open your eyes. Find a more comfortable upright seat. And you're done. Great job.